Hello, viewers. Let me turn down my TV real quick. So YouTube doesn't uh, WMG me copyright on Pawn Stars or anything. If I can <laughs> find my TV remote. Okay, YouTube, I swear, if you if you, if you you copyright me... Oh, shut up, Sam. Yes, I know I have the rendering too high for my computer. Why don't you shut up, you dumb Sim. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to do this. Click TV off. <laughs> uh, oh, wait. That, <laughs> now I find the remote. Great. Oh well, um, this is the uh, upgraded C deck as you can see guys, the wing clip issues are fixed, and yes, I don't think last time I had the video on, I had this rendered up as high as I have, but uh, this is X-Plane 9 on full actually, maxed out, like I said before, my computer can run it maxed out, I get 8, 8 to 9 or 10, 11 frames a second, but at least that's what I'm used to. Um... Let me see here. See, that float looks doesn't look fixed. This float, oh, they both don't look fixed. Uh, I'm going to have to fix the wing sections more, as you can see. Let's take a look at the cockpit. What we did in here, yes, we were, had the rain on. For a minute there. Uh, change the starter switches. We realize I got to add some magnetos. Jack and me both saw that, and we're like, dope. Got to add an engine gauge back, because apparently that's not... Or to get a dual engine gauge. Uh, fuel pressure gauge. I'm probably going to find a dual prop RPM gauge. It saves time, you know. Switches are where I said it was. There's your fire extinguishers. I've been having the fun of starting both separately. Well, thing is, one, well, the thing is, the sea duck and tailspin, I, I, I'm guessing that the, how they did it was they turned one mag, set of mag needles on, pushed the starter button, then turned the other set of mag needles on, pushed the starter button again. But in X-Plane 9, I don't think you can do that. Otherwise, I'd have one big red button. The mixture's up. And uh, I'll show you guys the flaps. The flaps, uh, the fl uh, that indicator, we tested it out before we show you guys. See there? See, the flaps are up. You can hear them lowering. Flaps are set to approach. And yeah, they're in transit. Still in transit. Now they're down, see? Yep, up to go. Where is that truck going, Jack? Look at him. Okay, it's a magical truck. It despawned. Truck? What? That, there's a truck right oh. there. He, he... Look at that. Oh. Oh. Yeah, guys. Unfortunately, the tailspin sounds don't sound as good as they do outside the plane. If anybody could tell me how to fix that sound file problem, I'd appreciate it. Flaps to approach. I'm gonna add some generator switches. Uh, if Jack, if, uh, I think I'm gonna have Jack probably tag along for another video of uh, working on the sea again because he doesn't, he's never seen me working playmaker. Aren't you interested? No, to I haven't. Aren't you? I don't. Know. I'm interested. Yes, I'm. Yeah, it's like it's like uh, it's interesting to see how I work on it because it's uh, you kind of gotta use some advanced NAF knowledge to work on this thing. I, I, I do like how I put the compass in, although I might have to move it over a little, because the compass just kind of blends into the cockpit, doesn't it? It is a boot. I'm currently on my Antonov, okay? So oh yeah, you're stinking Antonov. God dang it, I hate that jet. I couldn't figure out how to start it once. Here's my problem, guys. It's in Russian, right? The whole thing's, the whole freaking plane is in Russian. Flights in Russian. It, it, yeah, I know, I know it's in Russian, but if you hover on the button, it'll... Yeah, you it'll have a 50... And I hear, let me say my situation. I was in a situation when I was at Prison Julian, I'd spawn there, engines off on the runway. And, and the guy's like, dude, you gotta get off, I'm coming in. I'm like, I'll frick, I'll frick, I'll frick, which one's the starter? And it's like 50,000 buttons in that cockpit, Jack. I couldn't, I didn't have time to get the thing... It's easy, it's easy. Okay, I just, I just this, I'm gonna get you on Skype. Share screen and I'm gonna show you where the starters are, okay? So I just hit I'm control E. I, ju I just hit control E and got my hit my butt out of there. Yep, and 
there's the scenic on a dirt runway. You get that nice dirt runway effect there. And this is the... There goes my internet. There are jacks. And they want to call, actually. I will be working on the idle troubles. I can't get all of them, guys. I think his internet crapped out of him. Up oh, there he is. Was that your internet or mine? Uh, yours. God dang it. Bright House sucks. I, I'll take Verizon any freaking day, uh, well, there's not much to show here with these upgrades. To see, the Sea Duck does seem to fly a little different with the, the, the top completely smooth, you know? But Ace, you failed on looking for the starters, okay? I, t I didn't have time to look, I was in a freaking panic. Yeah, but you can't panic when you're piloting, if you panic, you just, like, lose all sense of it. Jack, that was my first time in the Antonov. Ever. Yeah, well, in my first time in the engine, I did You crazy. weren't getting run and get your butt ran over by 747 on landing. Yeah, well, the engine was bigger than the 747. I wouldn't have panicked. I wouldn't have to go around and can't stop the engines. They didn't speak English except for to tell me they're landing. Wow, that is some English he has got there. Yeah, it's like, it's like you think since they're pilot, they're, they fly pl a plane, you think they'd have a better English. Because, you know, all tower controllers know English. Yeah, every single country. It's by, I believe it's by law for the tower controller yeah, to know this. It's a law. Every single country has to speak English. Well, well, you get American pilots and then they're like, What the freak is he doing? Hook, hook, hook. And we having a very laggy turn rate. Oh, God. What is that? Oh, God. Look at that lag. A hundred feet from the ground. I'm the answer. Two, two, five. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Quit mocking me. It's hard enough. Uh, uh, um, you know. That thing's easy to fly. Try flying the sea duck in a hurricane. Well, it's easy to fly the antenna in a hurricane. You know, well, the antenna's funny. big and fat, and what you do with the antenna is to climb to 25,000 feet and you're above the freaking hurricane. Owned. See, like you'll see the indicator go to uh, down. See, you see, it goes down like it's supposed to. And uh, let's say, let's say, oh no, Jack. Oh no, there's a. No, pull up. There's a. There's a. There's a flock of birds in front of us, Jack. Oh no, a flock of birds. We're gonna die. Don't tell me I'm gonna avoid the birds again. Terrain. Oh, right on the window. Did I hit an engine? Yeah, down. Come oh on, no, an come. engine is on fire. Oh no. And the fire extinguisher turned on. Ta-da! Saved the engine. Although I've made it 15 times harder to land now because I can't see my I can't I can't see in front of me clearly. Yeah, why you not come down? Because Flight Simulator X hates you, dude. You, 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 it, doesn't, it doesn't. It's just a speed. I'm going a little bit too fast. Oh, going a little bit too fast. I had an aircraft yeah, for X-Plane that does that once. Down, it's coming down. Oh, I think I'm going to stall. Jack, Jack, not, Jack, pa pa Jack, pause the flight sim for a minute and take a look at my screen. No, hold on. I'm, I'm approaching, okay? Jack, this is more hilarious. I've got a bird strike... Breaking broken glass on my front window. It's a lot more entertaining than your Antonov landing. Oh my god, what is happening to my aunt? No, no, don't stall on me. Well, she's giving birth right now, but um. Tsh. Wow. You mentioned your aunt. My aunt. A N T. Uh, hold on, C Duck, baby. Five. Hold on! I can't get her on the ah, boom. I landed on the grass. Oh, I landed so smoothly you couldn't even tell. Brakes applied. 
And of course I I made it. Oh my god, I crashed. I landed and I had a bird strike. It just like sunk to the side. I don't know what. <laughs> your tire blew out again. You're gonna have to pay five look, to look two hundred million. Windshield. Look at your windshield. Oh yeah, my god. yeah. I land. I landed with a busted up windshield. It's worse than your Antonov. No, it is. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Your Antonov's five feet under. Alright guys, that's the upgrade to the c -Duck, and we're gonna switch on over to Plane Maker here, which will get a lot better frame rate in. <laughs> I get an awesome frame rate in that. Oh my god. There you go guys, we made it. If we ever stop. I'm applying the main brakes. The, the toe brakes on my joystick don't, on my rudder pedals, don't seem to work as well as the brakes in sim. <laughs> And guys, we're we're all, we're also gonna try to fi try to fix this. It's freaking nose wheel. Look at that, Jack. No nose wheel in the world does that. <laughs> no, no, they don't. It goes, it goes freaking sideways. I mean, the Antonov's the Antonov has double wheels, but it doesn't go sideways. Yeah. That's a good way to stop if you want you to turn the wheel sideways and blow out the tire stopping. All right, yeah. let's shut down the duck. Get a little bit better frame rate. I actually hit um the, the change aircraft that's got to move. Oh well, don't tell me you're using FS passengers with that Antonov. No, I'm not. No, okay, I was gonna say if you did that, you'd be broke. Of course I do. See yeah. you guys in plane.